Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening Welcome. Teacher. How are you guys? Fine? Fine. And Great. You? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking me. I was in English classes as well. Acabo de salir de clase y hace con ustedes, guys. Por eso es que me une un minuto antes o dos minutos antes. Porque acaba de venir de otra clase. So, thank you. Déjelo, Jaime. It's okay. <laughs> I like it. Hi, good evening. Hello. No, se me, se me, uh -huh, se me no, that happens. <laughs> okay. Hello, Sabrina. No, How are I you, am. Sabrina? I'm very well. Thanks for asking, teacher. And you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you, Sabrina. Good to see you. Thank you. Hello, Maggie. How are you, Maggie? Hello, Lucy. Hello, Melissa. Hello, hello, Ismael. Hi, teacher. Hi, Francisco. Sé que se me había hecho, Francisco. <laughs> Welcome, Francisco. Hello, Eric. Hello, Selena. Hello. Hello, teacher. Christian. <laughs> Christian, please place your full name, okay? Yes, now, now. Thank you. Okay. Um, while we wait for the other ones, let's um let's go through the attendance list, okay? Let me go through the attendance list while we were, I mean, we'll wait for the other ones, okay? Just one moment. And let me open the contact list. Okay, I have it here. Oh my God. <laughs> there is a battle between one cat and the other one every single night. <laughs> Todas las noches se pelean los gatos aquí, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Luis. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Rosa. Thank you for joining. Okay, guys, let me go through the attendance list now that we are 14. So please turn on the camera so I can go through the attendance list. Okay, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Celina Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Present teacher. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. <coughs> I saw Francisco here. Francisco, where are you? <laughs> Don't get lost, Francisco. Hello, Ismael. Veo a, a Nelson ahí. Ha, hello, Nelson. Le voy a dar con su nombre, Nelson, porque aparece todavía el nombre de su dispositivo. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jerixa. How are you, Jerixa? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. <coughs> ¿Dónde está Nelson? Acá está Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Ahorita se lo, le voy a ayudar, okay? Don't worry. It's fixed, okay? Rosa, hello, hello. Francisco, Eduardo. Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. I'm going through the attendance list. <laughs> okay. <A> present. <laughs> Thank you. Ismael Arturo Moran Vázquez. Present teacher. Jacqueline Liliana Barrera Hernández. Oh my God, Jacqueline. Where are you, Jacqueline? <laughs> Jaime eh, Antonio Velar Cortés. Jaime. 
José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Se desconectó Jaime. What's going on with Jaime? I hear. Ah, I was... ah, ok, ok. Thank you, Jaime. Está viendo el resumen de la selecta. No, 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 no. No, gracias. I remember Ana Elida was super fan of, of soccer, right? So whenever there, there, there was, uh, I mean, whenever someone were playing, right? She always say, oh, there is someone who is playing right now. And she was in top of this. Whenever there, were a ma there was a match between one and the other one. I don't know about soccer, guys. At all. <laughs> so we miss Ana Elida. Why are you laughing, Christian? <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Sorry. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I will... Okay, Jose Ovidio Flores Rivas. Jose Ovidio, where is he? Linda Magali Garcia Montoya. Present teacher. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Ajá, Marcos. Marcos, you are so quiet in this course. Why? Why you're so quiet? You need to talk more. Thank you for asking me, teacher. I have a sulfur. Really? Yes, uh, I have a three, three days. Really? Medical leave? So do you have medical leave? Yeah, yes, I, I, I take uh, the, the med medical or mm -hmm. medicine, medicine. Uh huh, and okay. I, I, I am como tratamiento. You have a treatment. Uh -huh, I have a treatment. And I hope I happen tomorrow. Uh, I, I, como estar mejor. You you feel better. Thank you for telling us, telling us. I didn't know Marcos, but I was wondering about why Marcos is not speaking. He is so quiet. But thank you for telling me. Okay, Marcos. Okay. Get well soon, Marcos. Get well. Thank you. <laughs> you know, whenever we was, I mean, I mean, we were on vacations, Marcos. Well, I, I asked Marcos to send me audios via WhatsApp and he sent me a lot of audios so that we were practicing because I, I, I told him, send me the audios on the WhatsApp in my private WhatsApp and I will help you to practice. And he sent me a lot of audios and I answered him as well. So that's the way of practicing, guys. Whenever you want to send me an audio, if I don't uh, respond quickly i'm sorry <laughs> it may be because i am busy but send me audios in the whatsapp okay in private and i will send it to you so we can practice the speaking skill speaking and pronunciation skills okay so send me audios try to speak okay don't be afraid of speaking Y ustedes, guys, se puede, pueden notar, ¿verdad? Que Marcos antes no hablaba, para nada. Y miren ahora, oh my God. Pero es porque él se le quitó el miedo de hablar. Like, no matter if he is making my mistakes, of if, or if he is not speaking perfectly, but he's trying. Y ahora lo está haciendo súper bien. Y nadie dice, oh my God, Marcos lo está haciendo perfecto, o Marcos no tiene errores, claro que sí, pero ese miedo, guys, que ustedes tienen de hablar, eh, eso es lo que les impide estar aprendiendo y avanzar. Una vez que se les quite el miedo, ya van a ver que aunque tengan pequeños errores, pero tienen que dar ese paso, ¿ok? So, congratulations again, Marcos. I hope you can get, you can feel better, ¿ok? 
get well Thank soon. Okay, eso le quería contar. So let me continue with the attendance list. Oh my God. <laughs> I never end with the attendance list. Um, Milton Hernández, hola. Present teacher. Ah, okay, Milton. Thank you. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Patricia. Uh, Rosa Calia Corrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Lizet García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melisa Oya Cisneros. Present. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Zulma Yarixa. Por aquí la vi. Zulma. Present. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Glenda. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Fátima. Uh, Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Now let's just start with the class that we have for today, okay? Let me share the screen. Okay, so guys, today we will study a new topic. And the topic that we will study today is the passive voice. Okay, this is the class number three. And uh, before to start with the topic, I ask you guys to investigate about the prepositions so do me a favor and go to the top of the screen y buscan la opción que dice more Ahí hay una opción sorry si no está en more está un icono que dice annotate para anotar y escriban las preposiciones que ustedes buscaron ok en la pantalla les voy a pasar ahorita um, a photo about where you can find it. Ahorita le voy a pasar una foto de donde pueden um, donde pueden encontrar la opción de annotate. Busquen toda esta opción por favor en su pantalla y escriban escriban en la pantalla las preposiciones que buscaron, ¿ok? Me avisan cuando vean la imagen que les mandé al grupo. Buscan annotate y luego se van para text, uh, sorry, texto, text. Ahorita les voy a mandar una imagen. Text. Y me, me escriben, guys, las, las preposiciones que investigaron, ¿ok? As many as you can, las que ustedes puedan. No sé si pueden ver la imagen que les mandé. Guys, ¿ya encontraron la opción? No, no me aparece, a mí no me aparece. No aparece. Sí, teacher. No, a mí eh, tampoco. Sí, dice sí. en view options. Arriba, view dice build options. And view options. Si en view en, options. En ahora en... En inglés les aparece. Sí, pero si está en, en el teléfono, no sé, porque estoy en la computadora. Luis. <risa> um, en inglés, le, eh, pues, sorry, en el, en el teléfono también les tendría que aparecer. Ajá, dice view option y luego dice anotate. anotate. Nos puede mandar una captura, una foto de cómo le aparece a usted, pero no me aparece así. Teacher, teacher, just a question. We need to update the, uh, the Zoom now. Sí, hay una última. I think I don't have the last update. Hay un, there is an update, there is a last update, but even if you don't have the update, it should be letting you without the update. So it should be letting you. Teacher, ahí empezamos a escribir. Sí, ¿verdad? 
Yes, let's start writing down. Typing here, please. Ellos dice at a la par. Oh. Uh, let's see. Ellos dice at a la par. Vio la imagen que mandé en el grupo. Ah, ¿Sí? Selena nos mandó una imagen, miren. Está donde dice View Options y luego sale la opción de Annotate. Vean el grupo, por favor. Si no está de la manera que yo les dije, lo van a encontrar así. Como mandó Selena. Para que ustedes puedan escribir en la pantalla. Y para si poder que... escribir en la pantalla se van a Text. Y a ahí text. se puede escribir en la pantalla. Exacto, donde dice Text. En la segunda imagen que les mandé. Thank you, Selena. Thank you a lot. So we okay. have before, after, and during. Very good. We have a long, we have after, we have about, and we have at. Let's okay. continue writing. Perdón, above. Very good. What else? We have about, below, okay, in, on, at, very good. What else? Uh, about, very good, Nelson, thank you. We have about, around, after, below, like, and nap. Good job, Nelson. Behind, because of. Uh, by, on, near, outside of, around, before, below, besides, beyond, by, during, from, in, and near. Good job, guys. What else? Let's write down all the propositions you, you have that you investigated. Hmm? Huh? That's it, without, very good, without, inside, across. Excuse without. me, teacher, eh, mi yes. computadora está dando problemas, eh, me voy a cambiar al celular. It's okay, thank you, Selena, for letting okay. us know, thank you. Okay, um, Nelson, since, until, and on, good job, Nelson. Behind, yes. for, yes? Sabrina, right? Sorry, yes, 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 I don't know if, if you can see what I wrote. Oh my yes. God, what is it? Si van apareciendo ahí. Es que yo solo estoy escribiendo y no sé si lo ve. Voy a mandar una foto de cómo se ve, guys, para ver si, si sale. Porque como de todos los que puedo ver ahorita, I don't know. Ahorita la mando. Ah, Me es dice... abierto, es todo lo que estamos escribiendo, todo está apareciendo. Yes, everything. Ah. <ríe> Very good. Ahorita los mando, miren. Look at it. Está un poco desordenado, but it's okay. Over, opposite, beneath. Very good. Towers, past, uh -huh, under, up, behind. Ajá, fíjense que en because of, aquí la preposición es el of, en because of, solamente sería of. In case of es una frase que está compuesta con una preposición y la preposición sería of, ¿ok? Ago, ¿ok? Between, abroad, away, ¿ok? Over, for, with, very good. Good job, guys. A round of applause for you. So, over, in, through, good job, through. Guys, in order for you to know how the ING works after a preposition, you need to know, uh, that's awesome, you need to know the prepositions. Si no se las pueden, we are not going to be able to place the ING, ¿me entienden? Como les decía el día de ayer, ustedes van a ver cualquier tipo de form, uh, sorry, cualquier tipo de test, uh, tense, sorry, eh, en cualquier tipo de estructura, pero ustedes ya se saben las reglas. 
after a preposition, there you have to put an, an ing in the verb. Okay, that's that's the rule. Okay, so questions about these guys? Questions about the prepositions? No? No questions? There are different type of prepositions. Prepositions of place, prepositions of uh, time. Um, oh my God. Prepositions of movements, etc. Hay muchos tipos de preposiciones. ¿Sí? Pero lo importante es que usted lo identifique. You identify the preposition. Identify the preposition. ¿Ok? Identificar. Identify. So, let's continue with the class, guys. Thank you a lot. You did an amazing job. And now, that's awesome. <laughs> let, me, let me go and erase it. Sorry, guys. ¿Quién lo está borrando? Thank you a lot porque lo está borrando. Um, uh, I believe it's here. Erase, 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 erase. <laughs> okay, I believe it's done. Okay, no, I just clearing all driving. Oh my God, that was easier. Okay, so guys, we will continue with this short, okay? Let's do an organizational short. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer un organizational short. Y esto lo vamos a hacer de manera individual ahorita. We will have, vamos a ver, eight minutes, ¿ok? Eight minutes to make an organization short. Lo vamos a hacer acá, entre todos. I mean, in this room. Lo vamos a hacer todos, pero de manera individual. Lo van a hacer un organization short del, um, de la company que ustedes crearon. ¿Se acuerdan que lo hicieron en tríos? En la misión, en la en vision and mission. Now, it's time for you to make the organization short de su compañía. Hagan una organization short de su compañía. Pongan acá quién es el jefe, office manager, supervising, beautician, etc. En este caso, guys, yo hice una organization short and this is a Steve Beauty Parlor, ¿ok? Esta es la que yo hice como ejemplo. So, once you do it, guys, una vez que usted lo haga, usted lo va a explicar y se lo va a explicar a, a sus compañeros. Luego de esta actividad vamos a hacer breakout rooms donde usted le va a explicar esta organization short a sus compañeros. Ok, vamos a hacer tríos de nuevo y se lo va a explicar. ¿Cómo lo va a explicar? Va a hacer oraciones como esta. ¿Sí? Ya no vamos a hablar de vision and mission, guys. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a ocupar la palabra is responsible for. Y como estábamos hablando el día de ayer después de for by el ING, vamos a poner en práctica lo que aprendimos. For example, si yo quiero decir de qué es responsable el bookkeeper, yo voy a decir the bookkeeper is responsible for maintaining accurate books on accounts payable and receivable, payroll and daily financial entries and reconciliations. So, voy a decir la, la responsabilidad de cada uno de los cuadritos. Si usted quiere, haga su organization chart más pequeña para que tenga menos trabajo, ¿sí? Y no tenga mucho que trabajar. So, al menos que tengan unas tres cuadritos y organization chart is ok. Lo que yo quiero es que practique, all right? Y que diga eh, la responsabilidad de cada uno de los del staff. Y va a ocupar la palabra is responsible for. Y luego el ING. The bookkeeper is responsible for. The salon, the salon owner is responsible for. The supervising beautician is responsible for. The hair specialist is responsible for, etc. Solamente va a ser una oración por cada cuadrito en su organization chart. Primero lo vamos a hacer. Ahorita lo vamos a hacer. Lo van a dibujar. And secondly, you will explain that to your... Um, to your classmates, okay? So we have five minutes para crear este organization short. Cinco minutos para crearlo. Ahorita, dibújenlo, guys. I don't know if you have questions right now. Five minutes to draw it, okay? Five minutes to draw it. 
Solo para dibujarlo. If you have questions, please let me know. Sure. Yes. Yes. A question. Um, yes. Tell me. How do you say in English? Mesero is waiter or waitress? Waiter. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, Sabrina. I'm opening the breakout rooms right now, guys, and I'm assigning to you to be there. Okay. I let you know. Cuando se unan. Ahorita solamente traten de dibujar el organization chart. Y de hacer las ideas de um, what is the responsibility of every single member. Recuérdense utilizar eh, la, el ejemplo que tenemos acá. The bookkeeper is responsible for Y ahí le agrega de que es responsable utilizando la ng. As I was mentioned, guys, maximum you can use five. Members, utilicen solamente cinco cuadritos o menos que eso para hacerlo simple. No lo hagan tan grande, ¿ok? Háganlo small, small, ¿ok? Right? Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Le, lo que pueden hacer ustedes para presentarle su organization chart a cada uno, manden una foto al grupo de su organization chart. Ok, manden una foto para cuando usted les esté explicando a la otra persona, tiene la opción de que le diga, mire, eh, vea la imagen que mandé. Y ahí lo están viendo todos. Para que vayan coordinando, ah, ok, estamos hablando de hair specialist y ahí están viendo su organization chart en el grupo. Y si no, la más fácil, compártanle la pantalla de la foto que tomó o de su organization chart. La idea es que los demás vean de cómo es su organization chart para que vayan entendiendo lo que ustedes van diciendo. Yes. Questions about this activity, guys? No questions. Teacher. Yes. No, teacher. Thank how, you. How do you, Tell how me. do you share the 
the screen. How do you share the screen? Uh, let me yes. see. Let me send to you a, a photo about the about the icon that you will press, okay? For you to share the screen, for you to share the screen. Give me a second. Ahorita se lo voy a mandar. Dice new share. Okay, I send it to you on the West uh, on the WhatsApp group, Sabrina. This is the icon that you will press. Y después le va a aparecer un cuadro que le voy a mandar ahorita y usted decide qué pantalla usted decide compartir. Did you see it? Yes? Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So guys, let me open all the breaker rooms. Did you finish? No? No, teacher. Okay. I'll give you two more minutes, okay? Two more minutes. Háganlo bien sencillo, guys. Así con el lápiz, super rápido, pónganle. Uh, this is the manager, supervisor, um, customer service employee, um, and that's it. If you want to add more, you can put two more, okay? Human resources, etc. Hágalo pequeño. There you go, Sabrina. Very good. Thank you. Sabri's Cafe, Cafe Owner. Look at the Sabrina's examples, guys. Vean el ejemplo que hizo Sabrina. Super good. Easier. Nelson, dígame. Teacher, eh, ¿a, dónde, ¿a dónde envío la, la imagen? ¿Al, al grupo? O aquel, grupo. Al, al grupo. Al grupo para que los, lo vean los demás cuando usted presente su organization chart. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Sabrina. Miren, super. Thank you, teacher. Super simple. It's ironic because... Huh? It's ironic because I had do whole uh, cafe. <laughs> I like to drink, but I don't like to do. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Supervising cafe, okay. Uh, cashier, waiter, waiter too. Very good. Uh -huh. There you go. Simple as that. There you go. Solamente que in English, póngalo. In English, very good, Patricia. Mm hmm Ok, entonces cuando ustedes ya hagan los breaker rooms, guys, y cuando digamos, si Sabrina está hablando, vayan y busquen la imagen de Sabrina para que vayan entendiendo lo que Sabrina va diciendo. Uh -huh. Very good, Eric. Good job. Uh -huh. Wow, I like your handwriting, Eric. Really good. Okay, guys, time is over. Let's open the breakout rooms and let's join to the groups, okay? Únense a los grupos que voy a hacer. Very good, Rose. Traten de explicar in English, okay? In English, your, your organization chart saying the responsibilities of your staff, okay? Recuerden utilizar esta frase. Is responsible for... Cleaning is responsible for sending emails, is responsible for um, checking the computer, repairing the computer, etc. Okay, so let me open the breaker rooms right now. Very good, Melissa. Okay, let me open the breaker rooms. Click on join, please, guys. Click on join. Teacher. Yes, Francisco. I'm not joined up up the WhatsApp group. Why? <laughs> Le voy a mandar. Eh, 
déjeme ver. No, no tiene el... Let me send to you the link. Let me send to you the link, ¿ok? Mm, es, oh, perdón, lo envían. Es cierto, viene adjunto, ¿verdad? Al, al, al... Ok, ok, perdón, perdón. Did you perdón, find yo it? No ingreso, ingresado, no había ingresado. Did you find si it? Tengo... ¿Ya lo encontró, Francisco? Sí, 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 sí. sí. Ok, Marcos, sí. Milton, Luis, Francisco, could you please click on join? Denle click en join, please. Marcos, Francisco, Milton. Terminando ahorita la responsabilidad. Entonces terminémoslo y después cortamos. Ok. Ay, no sé qué hice. Hola, hola. Estoy tratando de tomar una foto. Hi, teacher. Hello, hola. hello. Hola, estoy tratando, como estoy con el teléfono. Ah, ok, Selena, thank you. Estoy tratando de tomar la foto, ya la tomé. Esa, esa foto la tengo que pasar al, al grupo, ¿verdad? Yes. Guys, we have 10 minutes for doing this activity, okay? 10 minutes. Okay, okay. For practicing, for discussing the organization short, okay? Okay. If you want, let's start from the one that already finished. Empiece la que ya terminó su organization short y explique el cuadrito mientras las demás están ready, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, I'll be back. You are in mute. You are in mute, teacher. Oh my God, I'm sorry. La que ya terminó empieza a explicar mientras las demás o el otro está finalizando para que avancemos, porque tenemos 10 minutos nada más, all right? Okay. Let's start. Mr. Melgar. Hello. Hello. Guys, eh, el que haya terminado más rápido su organization short, esa empiece a explicar su organization short, diciendo las responsabilidades de, de las personas que puso en el short, mientras los demás se están preparando. Tenemos 10 minutes para finalizar, ¿ok? Yeah, we can, we can, we cannot uh, share the screen. You cannot share the screen? No, it's in. That's Dice weird. Dice la inhabilitó la función de compartir pantalla. No, yo no. <laughs> oh my God, pero bien, para eso se tendría que, se tendrían que ir todos para la main room y hacer los cojos o hacer los hosts y no me puedo quedar sin el host, pero bien raro porque antes sí podían, ¿verdad? Sin hacer yes. nada. Si sí, entonces hagamos la otra metodología, manden su organization chart al grupo y cuando hable la persona, vayan a buscar la organization chart de él. Okay. Por ejemplo, si empieza a hablar Jaime, es la que, donde dice Mr. Jaime. <ríe> Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Let's start doing it because we have just 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, guys. Okay. I start. Utilizar <laughs> IN. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Guys, el que ya terminó, the one who finished, let's start with the one that already end. I mean, already finished, okay? 
con el que el que ya terminó ese pase a, a, a explicarlo antes que el otro para avanzar porque solamente tenemos ocho minutos ya y yes, está mi linda Teacher, solo solo una cuestión este podría mandar el ejemplo que es, tenía ahí en pantalla del ah yes lo que pasa es que usted dice que hay que utilizar el responsible for and then ah, solo ese. Sí, solamente. Por cada persona lo usted va a ir diciendo fulanito, fulanito is responsible for and then de qué es responsable pero utilizando el ing. Ay. Ahí lo okay. mandé. Ajá, porque si pongo is responsible for uh, eh, control de controlling controlling ok let's continue guys voy a mandar okay. a Luis ah no no Luis estaba en el room number 3 the old store about the company thank you this is all for my company Luis estaba acá, right, guys? Luis was in this group. Yes, was but he... He... Oh, okay. he left. Yeah. I have already joined him, but he's not, he's not joining. <laughs> but maybe <laughs> later on. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's continue, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Manager of... The salary room is responsible for order the services. And the personal is responsible for carry of the driver required by the client. By the client. Are you Are using the ING form, guys? Yes? After the uh, proposition? Okay. Thank you. I turn off the camera so you feel that I'm not here. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's what I turn off the camera. Es <laughs> responsible for, ¿verdad? Primero, eh, era eso. Sí. Luego, general manager. Que dice la, la persona o la o de quien vamos a hablar, sí, ¿verdad? Correcto. Entonces, bueno, no sé, usted ya terminó, sigue. Solo <risa> sí, ya, ya. Si gusta usted, usted practique. Ok, um, is responsible for general manager, general manager for eh, this, for distribution the activities with the company. Uh, in... Don't worry. <laughs> Now is the next. Okay, my organizational chart is very easy, is simple. Uh, the principal the, um, is responsible for to, to give a uh, direction for the every, every employees. And the principal instructor is responsible for for give uh, instruction or direction for the technical training and the trainers. And um, the chief of staff is responsible for for give a direction on the reporter, customer support and the cleaner. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you, Jaime. Remember to use the ING for giving. 
Oh, sorry. For cleaning. <laughs> for uh, uh, fixing. For talking. For speaking, etc. Okay? Thank okay. you, guys. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Bueno, say. Hello. Yes, how are you? Did you finish? Uh, no, teacher. I Why? Just, uh, just, um, for yes. example, uh, la tarea era hacer un, un organigrama pequeñito. Exactly. De responsabilidades y decir cuáles eran las responsabilidades. Ajá. Uh -huh. Estaba puesto. Entonces, yes. ajá. Yo les estaba explicando un organigrama que es básicamente un 10% del organigrama de mi empresa. Ok. Entonces les decía que, por ejemplo, DDT es responsable por logistic eh, uh, operation y control quality. Eh, pero yo le entendí que teníamos que usar el... Verbo, el ING. Ajá. O sea, después del for, ponerle un verbo. Por ejemplo, um, let's see, the, the waiter is responsible for serving the food. Mm. Yes. The doctor is responsible for um, checking, um, checking the, the patients every day, etc. The teacher is responsible for um, providing new topics in the class or teaching new topics in the class. Uh -huh. Todo mm -hmm. está bien, solamente incluye a un verbo que lleve a ing. Yes? Mm -hmm. Pero cuando, si voy a ocupar el verbo providing, providing. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, okay. okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Eh, una consulta. Yes. Eh, es que entonces no le he entendido bien. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, eh, solo una consulta. Entonces ya he entendido que nos dijo que sobre un organizar el workshop que hicimos ayer era de que íbamos a hacer ahora. Eh, Vamos a hablar sobre, sobre la empresa que habíamos hecho ayer en tríos. También. Sí, también. No pero importa. Yo, yo, Puede ser el suyo, la empresa que usted se crea. No importa. Con solo que haga una organización short, it's okay. Ok. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Ok, one more minute, guys, and we come back, ok? Thank you. Y Francisco, Francisco, you're so shy. Turn on the camera. Camera. Ahorita, teacher, lo que pasa okay. es que estoy okay. en el cama un poquitito. Ah, ok, ok. Oh. Really? Oh, my God. Well, I hope you can get better, ok? Ahí está, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Thank you for joining hello. back. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys. So, si ustedes se fijan, las discusiones que estamos haciendo frecuentemente every single day. La discussion that we're doing is with a purpose. We have a purpose for that. And the purpose is that you practice, okay? So, usted no se preocupe si no hizo el short, que no lo hizo mejor, que eso y lo otro. No, guys, yo lo que quiero es que ustedes practiquen inglés, okay? So, that's the one that, the, that's the, what I want you to do, to practice English, okay? So, thank you for your effort. Thank you uh, for um, trying. Thank you for trying. Even though you might be uh, thinking that 
okay, I cannot do it. My pronunciation is awful. No, guys, we are learning, okay? So don't worry. And thank you for participating in this activity, okay? Poco a poco ustedes van a irse sintiendo un poco más comfortable, cómodos con esas discusiones y van a empezar a hablar más. Ya van a ver. Acuérdense que acá el propósito es to speak. All right? So right now, guys, we will make an activity about not speaking, but about writing. Okay? So le voy a mandar el link de la actividad que les expliqué ayer. No sé si se recuerdan de que les decía, uh, les explicaba que íbamos a hacer una actividad de la plataforma. So do me a favor, guys, and open the link that I will send it to you in the WhatsApp group. Abran el link que les voy a mandar en el WhatsApp group, please. Y ahí vamos a hacer un forum, ¿ok? De una pregunta que les puse. Les voy a compartir pantalla de ese forum. Vamos a hacer una discusión, pero por escrita, ¿ok? Pueden ver la pantalla. Do you see the screen? Yes. Great. Okay. Yes. So, guys, in this forum, in the English Corporativo platform, I ask you a question. And the question is, what are your responsibilities in your workplace? Okay. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es que ustedes van a ocupar el mismo, um, the same structure. La misma estructura que yo les estaba diciendo. Se la voy a compartir ahorita de nuevo. This. Usted va a escribir, I am responsible for, y va a escribir cuál es su responsabilidad in your workplace, utilizando el ING, ¿ok? Usted va a poner, I am responsible for repairing the computer, I am responsible for um, reporting reporting the issues uh, in the company, I'm responsible for sending emails, etc. All right? So you will use this phrase, I am responsible for. So write down on the comments, write down here on the comments, donde dice añade un comentario y escriba de qué, de, de qué responsible usted. Por ejemplo, acá pusieron, I am responsible also I am also responsible for controlling account receivable. Very good. Very good. Sabrina. Oh, this is an answer of Selena. Selena, very good. Everything related to the area of human resources. Oh, you are responsible for dealing, manejar, dealing, um, the human resources area. Activities such as preparation of salary she sheets, is AFP salary, certificates, etc. I'm also responsible for controlling account receivable. Very good, Selena. So, agregan el comentario acá y luego le dan clic en enviar. Usted escribir, I am responsible for, ok? Y luego va a mandar el, 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 el comentario, ¿ok? I'm responsible for. Y envía el comentario. Acá es recibir Sabrina, Zulma, Eric, answers. Very good. Si tiene, if you have any issue accessing to the platform, let me know, guys. Si tienen problemas accediendo a la plataforma, let me know. If you have any question, let me know, ¿ok? Let me see the other... Okay. Comment. Sabrina said, my responsibilities in my workplace are assist in dental surgeries, washing and sterilizing instruments and filling out clinical response, uh, records. records. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sabrina. Very good. We can also say, Sabrina, um, I am responsible for assisting in dental surgery, washing and ster sterilizing instrument and filling out clinical records. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, Sulma said, my responsibilities in my workplace is to give professional legal assistance to the clients of the office and produce documents properly and efficiently. Very good. 
Sulma, Jerixa, sorry, Jerixa, you can also say, I am, uh, I am responsible for giving professional legal assistance and producing documents properly and efficiently. De las dos maneras se puede, don't worry. Very good, Jerixa. Eric, my responsibilities, my responsibilities are organizing the staff and supervising the project. Very good, Eric. You can also say my response, I am responsible, sorry, for organizing the staff and supervising the project. So guys, let's start writing down, okay? Writing down your comments. Vamos a ver si tenemos más comentarios acá. Let's see if you have more comments. No, oh yes, I have Lucy. I am responsible for enforcing occupational health and safety in my workplace. Very good, Lucy. Yes, Melissa, I am responsible for checking the inventory. Good job, Melissa. Luis, I am responsible for accounting uh, for some projects. Very good. Christian, I am responsible for scheduling weekly classes for the kindergartens, as well as teaching all those classes to the students. Good job, Christian. Very, very good job. Let me see the other comment. We will refresh that, okay? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sabrina? Just a question. When we write um, in this discussion, mm -hmm. is the same uh, when we do the homework? Next yes. to is a um, discussion. Is the same that this? It's the same platform. Yes, it's the same one. Um, mm -hmm. And also, it um, is in the in your in your model. No van a ver muy bien, pero acá dice model three. Entonces estamos en su en su platform, okay? Okay. Nosotros and, estamos, yes? And, and when we do the homework, there is two, two parts. I, I, the, the check, when, when we, uh, when we put the, the, the correct answer, mm -hmm. and after that is an video, or before, I don't remember, before a video, and after that, uh -huh. uh, the homework. Uh -huh. And there is uh, under that uh, a question. But I haven't seen you a question in the homework. No ah, la okay. Eso is not always. No, 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 no. I mean, this is just an extra activity. This is an ah. extra activity besides the homework. Yes. It's, an in, okay. it's a discussion in the class, but it's not the same as the homework. But oh, okay. it is part of the class. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> you're welcome let's see i have jaime's answer jaime's comment i'm responsible for teaching a spanish class why not english <laughs> taking attendance checking and responding parents emails okay i'm responsible for sending emails very good milton teacher yes maggie uh I had a problem in in thirty uh, platform. Yes, Maggie, you didn't say that to me yesterday. <laughs> no. Teacher, okay. siempre, siempre tengo problemas en really? la plataforma. Really? Yes. Ayúdeme con algo. Mándeme en el grupo de WhatsApp el reporte que tiene. ¿Qué error le da? Su nombre completo. Y le dice que le asisten y yo voy a, 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 a darle reply yo para que le asisten también. Y, y, y se lo, ¿O no es problema de la contraseña? No, porque es la contraseña que me dieron. Mande el error en el grupo para que ahí le podamos ayudar a los técnicos de inglés corporativo. Please, ma. Sí, porque siempre tengo problemas. ¿Se acuerda que el... el... Mm -hmm. sí, el anterior también. Yes. Okay. Mándenos el error, el error que le aparece, please. Okay. 
Okay, dice uh, Ismael, I am responsible for receiving, ING Ismael, receiving products and dispatching products, okay? ING, dispatching and receiving. Uh, Estefania, I am responsible for draw, drafting and transcribing correspondence, correspondence, documents, and new letters, newsletters, and maintenance of student records. Great. Who's missing, guys? Hurry up. Just one more minute and we will finish with the discussion. Fatima, can you access to the platform? Oh, you don't have access, right? I am responsible for reviewing. Review? Reviewing. Uh -huh. Reviewing and keeping. Keeping company account, company's account. Reviewing and keeping, okay? ING. ING, very good. Okay. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Rosa, I am responsible for accounting checks, preparing, comma, preparing payments, forms, and registering, registering accounts entries, okay? ING. Let's see who else is missing. Did everyone uh, comment here in the forum, guys? Please write down your comment. Voy a pasar la lista, guys, mientras terminan con la discusión. Let me see. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Ángel Estefanía. Present. Thank you. Uh, Selena Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Turn on the camera, guys, please. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Jacqueline Liliana Barrer Dames. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present, teacher. Teacher, ya pude entrar. Pudo. Oh, great. Deje su comentario entonces. Thank you. Uh, uh, pero eh, a donde dice, per, sí, solo que tengo una consulta. Yes, tell me. Eh, donde dice añadir una publicación. Ajá. Creo que dice añadir comentario. Es que dice el título no puede estar vacío. Ah, pues no. Dice hasta abajo tiene que irse donde dice añade un comentario. Déjeme ver. Sí, ahí lo puse. Vaya, ve. <risa> Ok, no, no, no. No dice, acá. añade tu respuesta, ¿verdad, guys? Así dice. No. Solo no. hay 14 answers. Ah, pues no. Le sale que no está en roll. No, ah, pues no, no se puede. Le doy a enviar y dice que no, que añade un título. Siempre me dice eso. De verdad, qué sí. raro. Porque está en la opción que dice, añade una respuesta. Ahí le dio. Sí. Y ha estado haciendo las tareas normalmente, sin ningún problema, sí. ¿no? ¿Verdad? Porque no tenía acceso. Sí, la primera sí, pero ya después ya no, ya no pude entrar, no sé por qué. ¿Y ahorita tiene acceso a las tareas? Ahorita no he visto. By the way, guys, ahorita que estamos hablando de eso, han estado haciendo las tareas todos estos días. ¿Yes? ¿Are they easy or difficult? No, no, no easy. Easy, right? Ah, right. sí, sí, sí. <ríe> Thank you, Jaime. Ok. Recuérdense que el lunes, como empezamos martes, el lunes va a ser el último día de la semana. So, antes, para lunes, después, antes de la medianoche tiene que estar completo porque yo ya lo mando, ok. Para sí, tener sí. los cinco días exactos. Ok, guys. Ok. So, uh, 
Maggie, está raro lo de su error. Guys, déjenme preguntarle algo. ¿Cuál es, cuál, es, ¿Cuál es la opción que ustedes eligieron para hacer el comentario? ¿Añade una respuesta o comentar? Comentar una respuesta. Añade, Añade una respuesta. respuesta. Esa es la opción que le da, ¿verdad, Maggie? Sí, esa. Vuelva a cargar el link, tal vez. <risa> Es a que mí dice, añade, añade una, una publicación. publicación. Está, está antes, está antes, añade una publicación y luego abajo está añade una. Añade un comentario, ah. dice. Hay un cuadro ahí que dice añade un comentario en ese cuadro. Hasta abajo incluir. de los comentarios está. Hasta abajo, entonces, no. Maggie. Me pueden mandar una captura de cómo aparece, porque a mí me aparece vacío. Yo creo que porque es esta la que estoy que viendo es. ahorita. Se lo voy a mandar, Maggie. Ah, no, espérense, voy a, a compartir pantalla. ¿Aquí? Exacto, ahí estoy escribiendo y, y dar enviar, pero... ¿Aquí es verdad, guys? Yes. Uh -huh. bueno, sí. entonces, tal vez si vuelve a cargar el link, me avisa, Maggie, si no, pues es problema tal pero vez de su inscripción. Es Ajá. así, aparece al así. Enseña. Si está en Cristian. el teléfono, aparece así. Creo que el no, reflejo no, no va a dejar veo. ver. Mande una captura. Ajá, una le captura. voy a mandar una captura. Por fin. Porque sí no deja ver. Pero lo primero que aparece al entrar en el link es añade una publicación. Y después uh -huh. dice Company Idently. Está la pregunta que puso la teacher. Y ahí dice añade una respuesta. No, no me parece eso, pero... Sí, ahí. Ahorita sí ya le envié. Ok. Ahorita no. ya le envié. Porque solo yeah. me dice añade una publicación nomás. Y de allí principiantes, eso es lo único que me dice. Y le aparece la pregunta que ha puesto la teacher. No. Ah, pues no sé. Ajá. Sí, sí, siempre, siempre me pasa. Dele clic en el, en el link que le mandé. Yo ya le di clic okay. en el link que usted mandó. Y quizás está, entra, está entrando a, a la página y no está entrando desde el link. Tiene que entrar desde el link. Desde el link. Le va a otra cosa. Si entra desde el inicio sin necesidad del link, estando en una pantalla de inicio, está curso, progreso, fecha y en discusión. Ah, ahí me metí ¿Está? y no, no puedo. En discusión. Entrar. Y ahí dice buscar todas. Le di ahí. Buscar en todo. Ver? Y como es la única que se ha puesto hasta ahorita, la única discusión, solo esa opción le va a tirar. Pero con el link no puede, Maggie. No, nada, no aparece no, nada, no ni con el link. <risa> Ay, ok. No. El link bueno, no vamos a nada. reportarlo entonces, Maggie. Pero vea si las tareas sí puede acceder, please. Porque me sí, preocupa. Sí, es así, hoy sí puedo entrar porque se puede. Vale. Ok. Pero que bueno, en el no anterior no podía un, entrar tampoco. Un, un ND eh, instalado en su computadora para entrar de, de, de remoto a su computadora y ver cómo es que lo tiene o está en su teléfono no estoy en la computadora pero lo que sucede es Selina que a veces es una letra la que cambia y por eso siempre tengo problemas por una ah ok mm. sí ok, okay. Sí, Ay, porque no. usted aparece su nombre en el listado que mandan de todas las, de todas las empresas que Yo están activas, entrar. aparece su nombre y a la par aparece entre paréntesis el nombre de una empresa. Ah, ah sí, es que lo poder que pasa es que yo soy la apoderada de la empresa. Ajá, ajá. ¿Quién no puede eso? entrar, dijo? Yo Sorry que le interrumpí. No Marcos, si usted hasta ahorita está, nos está diciendo, mal. <ríe> dice, mándenme, le, mándenme los errores que les aparece cuando ya intentan entrar, guys, please. Solamente me dice que ingrese eh, mi correo electrónico, lo pongo y mi password, pero de ahí dice que no, no es como que no lo reconoce. Y está lo utilizando el si, correcto. Diga. Lo que, el... Es que si ya lo, lo que pasa es que si ya lo hizo tres veces, ya lo bloqueó ahorita. Si intentó ingresar y lo hizo tres veces, Marcos. ya lo bloqueó. Guay, Marcos. Ya no puedo entrar. <risa> pues ya no puede entrar. No, hombre, mande el error al grupo, please, y dígale que, dígale, ponga el error que, que le apreció, si no, no más de las tareas. Please, man. Ok, thank you, Eric. Thank you, guys. Ok, uh, let me continue with the attendance list. Yo fui la última. 
que de la Thank you, lista Linda. ahorita. Ok. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Milton Present. Hernández Sola. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Present Herrera. Teacher. Rosa Acalia Corrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melissa Oya Cisneros. Present. Zulma Yerixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martínez. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Present. Y Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Be careful. So, guys, thank you very much for all your answers. Okay. Thank you a lot. We will continue with the class and we will start with a new topic. Okay. Uh, let me share the screen. Be careful, Patricia. Okay. Usted no nos haga caso hoy, ahorita. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay guys, so we have a, this, a, new discussion, a new discussion, pero lo vamos a hacer acá, ahorita, because of the time. Please open the book 15, uh, the page 15, sorry. Open the book in the page 15. Let me open the book here. Okay, page 15, guys, here. And we have a new discussion. I want to listen to you speaking in, in English, okay? So, I want to ask you guys, what is reputation? What is reputation for you? What is reputation? In English. Uh -huh. In the way that another people know to us. us. Great. It's what the other people think about you, right? Or think about a company, etc. Very good. What else, guys? What is reputation? Christian, Luis, Yarixa, Magali, Maggie, Nelson, what is reputation? Jaime, Estefania, Francisco, Ismael, Milton. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lucy, Selena. I think are the opinions that uh, others have about us. Very good. The opinion that other has about you. Very good. Uh, what I else? do not understand the, the question. What is reputation? Who say that? No escuché who say that. Selena, usted dijo. Uh, uh, I do not understand the question. Okay, so what is the definition? What is the concept of reputation? Okay. Uh -huh. What is the concept? What is it? The meaning or reputation? Marcos, what do you think, Marcos? I know you're a little bit sick, but I know you want to talk. <laughs> the reputation for me is like a idea or opinion is bad or good about the the person okay very good thank you thank you a lot christian what about the rest what do you think jaime what do you think jarixa melissa what no, do you think about I, reputation uh -huh. i think the reputation is um opinion Positive opinion about uh, people how of me. Very good, great. So it is the opinion or what people think about you, right? Very good. So guys, let me ask you another question. How do businesses build their reputation? How do you think that a company build, okay? Build their reputation. 
For example, if you are working for uh, Sarita's Pupuseria, you're working for them. How do you think that how uh, Sarita's Pupuseria will or made the reputation? How? How do you guys, how do the businesses build their reputation? Depends on their service, their, their products. Uh -huh. The good taste, the good taste of the food. Good taste of food, that's right. Very good. What is the product that you provide? What is the service? Very. Good. What is the customer service you provide? Just in mind, there is a person that comes to, to your pupuseria and all of a sudden you don't have or you don't provide a good customer service. That's not gonna be a good reputation about your pupuseria, right? So that's why the reputation of your business of your company really matters, okay? <laughs> Marcos, what about your emoji? Marcos, ponga ahí, mire. Me podrían ayudar, me podría ayudar los técnicos de inglés corporativo con eso. Sorry, yo lo iba a poner, pero como estamos acá en la discussion. Okay, so guys, what is the reputation? What is the reputation of the place you your work for? What is the reputation of your workplace? Do you know what is the reputation that you have in your company? Do you know it? Maggie, Fatima, Patricia, Estefania, what is the reputation of your workplace? Selena, Eric, do you know what is the reputation of your company? What is it? How is the reputation? What people said about Centro Escolor Ma Maquilis, what? No me equivoqué. <laughs> what people Vaya, say about that? Uh -huh, Jaime or Christian. The, uh, the people, do people, the people say that said he is uh -huh. an institution very good because he is a bilingual institute. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he is, it in, is? This case, uh, in this case, uh, is a, uh, I don't know, Centra, Centra su Atención. He calls the attention. He calls the attention in the student. Okay, so... That institution calls the attention because it's, it is bilingual, right? That's a good reputi yes. reputation. Uh, what did you say, Jaime? Sorry. Um, in this school, the, there is a work environment, good work environment. Very good. Okay. There, there is Christian. a good teamwork <laughs> environment, right? You work in team. Yes. Okay, very good. So that's the reputation of your company. Another example, Luis, what do you think about your company's reputation? Reputation. Uh huh. Marcos, Luis. The reputation. ¿Cómo se dice? Repute? Re, reputation. <laughs> the reputation of uh -huh. the company is to be the best beauty parlot at the low cost. Uh -huh. Okay, great. And Selena, what do people say about your company? What is the reputation of your company where you work? Um, excuse me. What is your company's reputation or your workplace reputation? Where you work? De su trabajo. What is it? What people what? say about your company? Es que le entiendo que me está preguntando algo de la compañía, pero huh? no entiendo. And what is the reputation? Pero company's la reputation. reputación que Ajá, tiene there la you gente. Go. Exactly. La... Lo que piensa la gente de nuestra empresa. Uh -huh, exactly. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. The 
the reputation of the people and my company is the beauty sales sala de belleza. Ah, okay. Ah, now I see why your hair is is beauty beautiful all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Selena. Congratulations. Okay, let's okay. keep it up like that. Let's try. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for the discussion. Uh, we have a conversation practice here, and we ask, we will ask Luis and Christian to start. I mean, to practice the conversation. Okay, Daniel. I mean, Christian, you're Daniel, and Luis, you're Jessica. Okay, let's start. So, Jessica, what does your company do? Atrex, uh, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And um, what is Trex now for? Trex is now for the mother, the size, and the quality of clothes uh, we make. Great. And um, are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. No sé cómo lo pronuncio. Absolutely. Absolutely. Rex is recognized as very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is a rate as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Very good. Thank you. A round of applause for you. So, guys. As you see on the conversation, they are talking about Rex, right? Which is the name of the company. And as you can see, they are talking about what people say about the company. They say that Rex is known for modern designs and quality of the clothes they made, okay? They also said that Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. They also said that Rex, Rex, Rex I'm sorry, Rex is rated as one of the 10 prestigious companies in El Salvador. This is what people said. This is the reputation of the company Rex, of Rex company, okay? So let's see, Lucy and Rosa will uh, practice the conversation. Rosa, you start, you're Daniel, and Lucy, you're Jessica, okay? Let's continue. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see, and what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Right. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is rec recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is great as on on one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Great, a round of applause for you guys. Okay, let's repeat after me, all of you, okay? Repeat after me, all of you. Uh, so Jessica, what does your company do? Patricia, Maggie, Fatima, turn on the microphone, please. Christian, uh, at Rex, we produce clothes for kids. At, at Rex, Rex, we produce, we produce clothes, clothes for, for kids. kids. I see. And what is Rex known, known for? I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Rex is known for the modern quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? 
Right. Right. And are you happy for Absolutely. Red is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Their personal is important for them. For them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Rex is rated as one of the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Very good. Okay, guys. So, look, there is one structure that we will study today. And the structure is called passive voice, okay? Vamos a estudiar el passive voice, la voz pasiva en Spanish, okay? So if you see the bold letters, those ones, <clears throat> is known, uh, is known, <coughs> is recognized, is rated. Esto está compuesto, guys, por dos estructuras. The number one, verb to be, is, 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 verb to be. Is that in present or a simple is? Present or simple? Guys? Present form or in, uh, sorry, present or past, sorry. <laughs> present, present or past? Present, present. Right? present. Very good. Present. Uh, and it is for? with another verb. Miren, este tema que vamos a ver este día uh, va a ser una introducción a muchos temas que vamos a ver después, ¿ok? Uh, todavía no hemos visto el pasado, ¿ok? De acuerdo a los temas que inglés corporativo nos da, lo voy a decir en, en español, no hemos visto el pasado todavía. Mas, sin embargo, como es una introducción, Luego de eso ustedes van a ir entendiendo mejor y porque la verdad, si yo me enfoco y profundizo más en ese tema, lo voy a confundir. Así que mejor, solamente les quiero decir que el pasado no lo vemos todavía, más sin embargo el día de ahora vamos a hacer como una pequeña introducción, ¿ok? So, este verbo se llama past participle, ¿ok? Past participle. Y el día de ahora lo vamos a medio aprender. Entonces, la voz pasiva es conformada por el verbo to be plus past participle. Y vamos a ver cómo sacamos el past participle, ¿ok? Solamente les voy a dar como una introducción, ¿no crean que vamos a profundizar? Solamente es para entender de qué es la voz pasiva en presente, ¿ok? Present. So, uh, let's see. Now that we know already the conversation, guys, we will work together to... Um, complete these exercises. We will say if it is true or false. Antes de irnos para este, para este ejercicio, let's have two minutes para leerlo de nuevo. Lean de nuevo la conversación para que podamos contestar esas four sentences, okay? Two minutes to read it. Read it right now silently, okay? Individually, leanlo, guys. Lean la conversación y entiéndanla, okay? Two minutes, guys. Nelson, good? Sure. Everything good? Everything good, Nelson, yes? Yes. Okay. Estefania, are you good? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Estefania. Teacher. Yes, Sabrina. What is rated? What is the meaning? Rated, rated, rated. is, for example, what a star would you give a company? One star, two stars, three star, four or five stars. Five star means the best. Okay. So what this is rated. To rate a company, how many stars do you give them? In this case, they are 10, right? 
Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> One more minute, guys. Did you finish reading it? One more minute. Teacher. Yes, Sabrina. And, we, and when we talk about the passive voice, is the same that uh, the present perfect, no, it's another topic. It's another topic. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you for asking, Sabrina. Okay, guys, time is over. Okay, let's respond these statements, okay? Let's do it together, okay? Let's see, uh, Marcos, could you please help me to read the number one? Okay, uh, people now Rex produces clutter with modern design for cleaning. Okay, great. People don't Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. Is that false or true? True. It's true. True? true? It's true. It's true. Sure? True. Are they for yes. kids or no. adults? Adults and or kids? kids? For kids. Very good, okay. True, right? Here you have the answer. Where in the text are kids? In the second. In the second. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Very good. For number two. two. Um, Jaime, could you please read the number two? People now Rex, Rex manufacture quality clothes for kids. Very good. Is that true or false? False. It's true. True. False. 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 Let's find False. it in the on the reading. We can say the they designs. Not they designs, right? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. They designs. Very good. Okay, it's false. Number three, uh, Francisco. Number three. People see Rex as prestigious company. Great. Is true. that true or false, guys? True. 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 Very good. True. Estefania, number four. All right. Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in service. Okay. It's false. 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 Okay. Uh, so it is in the one of the most, how many? Five? Ten. Ten. Ten, Ten. Ten right? Ten. 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 Very good. Okay, guys. Very good. You did an amazing job. Okay. Now it's time uh, for us to talk about passive voice. Okay. Let me share the screen. Do you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay, let's see. Fatima, could you please help me to read the slide? Fatima? Okay. In, in present simple, um, present simple pass in usual to talk about some actions that are performed in the present or repeatedly Habit simple stains of fact or universal truth. See. Yes. yes. 
when to use present simple past, we use the present simple to express the idea that an action is a pain or usual. The action can be a bit, a hobby, a daily event, and schedule like event or something than often keeping impossible voice we focus attention of the person or the thing affect be the action when the subject is un no unclear or irrelevant. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Okay, guys. So, do me a favor and have one minute to read that. Okay? One minute to read this. Lean eso, guys. One minute. And understand it. Understanding and comprehend what you are reading. Okay? Read it. One minute. Who is habit? Habits is uh, something that you you get accustomed to do every single time. For example, a habit can be Selena that you uh, brush your teeth every day. That's the habit. Uh -huh. That no, you, you comb no, your hair every day. Mm -hmm. That's a habit. Okay. Or you drink coffee in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Teacher, what is performance? Performance. Perform yeah. done. Something yeah. that is done. Thank you. Sorry. So, something that is done. Algo que está hecho. Ready, guys? Yes? Did you read it? Okay. Yes, Thank you. So, guys, passive voice. The present simple passive is used to talk about some actions that are performed in the present and is repeatedly because they are habits. Okay? Um, simple statements. Whenever we talk about passive voice, it can be habits, simple statements, facts, hechos que pasa, or um, universal truth, ¿verdad? Cosas reales del universo. <laughs> uh, when, when to use present simple passive? We use the present simple to express the idea that an action is repeated or usual. The action can be a habit, a hobby, okay, a hobby like listening to music, like running in, in the morning, daily events, daily events, take a shower, um, oh my God, have breakfast, etc. A scheduled event, a scheduled event, something that happens in a time, in a specific time, okay, or something that often happens. O algo que normalmente pasa, ¿ok? In passive voice, we focus attention on the person. Pay attention to this, guys. Escuchen esto, porque esto es esencial del passive voice. We, um, we focus attention on the person or thing affected by the action. 
Acá está diciendo que le ponemos atención a la cosa que ha sido, a la persona o la cosa que ha sido afectada por la acción. ¿Ok? When the subject is unknown. When we don't know the subject or something, sometimes it's irrelevant. A veces, a veces es bien irrelevante quién hizo, la, quién hizo algo o qué es lo que pasó. Solamente tenemos que saber que algo se hizo. ¿Sí? A veces es unclear, no sabemos muy bien quién lo hizo. Entonces, cuando eso pasa, por eso se utiliza el passive voice. Si no utilizáramos el simple present, porque el simple present nosotros lo utilizamos para hábitos, para hobbies, para daily routines, para universal truth. Entonces, utilizamos el passive voice para eso. ¿Ok? I would say this in Spanish, lo voy a decir en español. Tenemos dos tipos de voces, active voice, que es una oración simple, y el passive voice. Solamente me voy a enfocar a enseñarles el passive voice y cómo está hecho para que no se me confunda mucho, porque miren, guys, el passive voice puede surgir en cualquier tipo de estructura en cualquier otro tiempo. Puede ser en el tiempo pasado, en el futuro, en el present perfect en el past, etcétera, en todos los tiempos de hecho tengo un cuadrito donde está el passive voice en todos los tiempos pero como es muy avanzado por el momento no lo quiero confundir solamente quiero que sepan que vamos a estudiar passive voice en presente ok so, let's continue I don't know if you have any question about this text, tienen preguntas de este texto, questions comments, no teacher ok, we, we will have the structure right now Okay, here we have the structure, what really matters about passive form, okay? The passive voice in the simple present, guys, is formed by verb to be, okay, in present. Aquí olvídense de este past, solamente present. Acuérdense que el verb to be is am, is, and are. Here you have it, I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, and it is. This is the verb to be, okay? Plus, más, ok, plus, past forcible. Y acá me quiero detener un poquito en I will say this in Spanish, guys. El past participle es, la, creo yo, para los que no han estudiado inglés anteriormente, puede ser que no tengan eh, como una background o como un antecedente de que es past participle. Entonces, no sé si ustedes se han fijado, guys, en muchas ocasiones ustedes se van a fijar que en internet o en, en, en los libros de texto, en lo que sea, siempre hay tres columnitas cuando estamos hablando de los verbos. Estamos hablando, cuando tenemos el infinitivo, que es la base forma, tenemos el pasado y tenemos el past participle. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han visto esas tres columnitas? Cuando ven los verbos. How many of you have seen that? Me. Ok, who else? ¿Alguien más? ¿Somebody else? Me. Great. Me. Ok, ¿saben de que yo cuando estaba en bachillerato, me acuerdo yo, me decía mi teacher de inglés, eh, nos dejaba verbos de aprendernos cinco por día. Entonces me decía, apréndense los verbos de esta manera. Y nos ponía tres columnitas. Yo ni sabía, pero me acuerdo todavía que yo me aprendía break, broke, broken. Uh, y así, así me los aprendía yo. Entonces, y es por alguna razón, porque el past participle de verdad se utiliza bastante. Entonces, guys, no voy a ahondar mucho en el past participle. Solamente quiero decirles de que el past participle se utiliza para la passive voice, para ese verbo pasivo y para otras estructuras. Pero ahorita enfoquémonos en el passive voice. Entonces, si ustedes se fijan acá, este es el infinitivo, este es el pasado, ¿ok? Y el past participle es la que está en la columna número 3. Y no es el mismo que el past participle, ¿ok? A menos que sea irregular. Después vamos a ver eso, no se preocupen. Solamente ustedes el día de ahora enfóquense en la tercera línea, ¿ok? Para no confundirlo, solamente enfóquense en la tercera línea y el past participle es el que vamos a ocupar. Ese verbo vamos a ocupar, ¿ok? Entonces, está conformado por verb to be plus past participle. For example, come, done, eaten, Made, seen, 
taken, written, okay? Christian, do you know what is the meaning in Spanish of eaten? ¿Cómo se traduce eso en español? Dígamelo en español. It's very difficult because it's a different time in Spanish, but for me, it's... Estuve haciendo. No. <laughs> Oh, no, don't worry. Es comido. Comer, comido. comido. Ven, oh, venido, hecho, uh, comido, comi hecho. Por eso decía yo que es difícil porque en español no usamos, o sea, al menos eso es bien difícil. Es más, Ajá, es más fácil en inglés. Es más fácil en inglés, pero al menos lo digo para que ustedes tengan una idea, ¿verdad? Ah, eso es el verbo. <risa> Teacher, pero, ahí, eh, sorry, uh, donde dijo hecho no es haciendo. No, no, no porque no, haciendo es, es ing. Ing, ok. Uh -huh. hey, escrito, tomado, ok, visto. Solamente se lo digo para que tengan una mínima idea de cómo es en español, ok, y no estén perdidos. Pero hasta ahí lo voy a dejar, ya no hablemos de español. <risa> ok. Just for you to uh, know. So, ejemplo, example, guys, example. The survey is taken today. The survey is taken today. Entonces, ¿alguien me lo podría decir en español qué dice? What is survey? What is survey? ¿Mm? Supervivencia, ¿verdad? Bueno. Eh, tomado, o sea, la encuesta o sea, es tomada hoy. Ajá. Tomada hoy. La encuesta es tomada hoy. ¿Ustedes creen que es importante quién va a tomar la encuesta? No. Es irrelevante, ¿verdad? Right? Es lo mismo que decíamos acá, miren, guys. En la slide anterior. Es irrelevante, es unclear, es un no. Lo que a nosotros nos importa es saber lo que la lo que la cosa, persona, por qué es afectada, cuál es la acción, ¿verdad? Que tenemos acá. Entonces, the survey is taken today. ¿Ok? So, solamente quiero que lo vean así, no voy a profundizar mucho, pero si nosotros nos vamos al libro de texto, guys, give me a second. Nos vamos a ir al libro de texto, ahorita, right now, here, ok? Y vámonos al roleplay que teníamos aquí, a la conversación. Ok, acá tenemos tres ejemplos. Rex, que es la compañía, is known, es conocida, all right? Rex is, con, is known for the modern designs and quality of the clothes we make. Number two, Rex is recognized. Es reconocida, ok, reconocida. as a very prestigious company, ok. Rex is rated as a one of the ten most prestigious companies in the, in El Salvador. So, if you see, is done, I mean, is formed by verb to be plus past participle. ¿De dónde agarramos el past participle? De la tercera columna, ok. Past participle. En, si ustedes buscan list of verbs en Google, ahí les va a aparecer las la tres la columnas, ¿ok? Y ustedes van a ocupar la tercera. Yo les voy a mandar una lista de verbos en past participle para que lo tengan. ¿Por qué se lo voy a mandar? Porque ahorita ustedes no saben cómo formar un past participle, porque ni siquiera hemos visto simple present. Entonces ahorita ustedes lo van a tener para tenerlo en la mano porque no se sabe cuál es el verbo. Si yo quiero decir cuál es el past participle de break, no saben, ¿verdad? Entonces, para eso van a tener su guía, su, su lista que yo les voy a mandar y van a buscarlo en la lista. Ok, ¿cuál es el past participle de break? Break, broke, broken, dice. Ok, broken. Ok, entonces va a decir usted, the phone is broken. The phone is broken. Ok. okay. The camera is torn on. ¿Ok? No estoy diciendo la cámara está encendida. ¿Ok? La cámara fue... La cámara está... En, no, espérense. 
la camera the camera is turned on actually ahí sí me confundí fíjense porque se parece al active voice the camera is turned on the camera is turned on okay no está bien lo que pasa que en la en la en la en el passive voice muchas de las veces le podemos poner by que significa que fue encendida por alguien más y ese es el passive voice y ahí se confunde bastante pero uh, les voy a enseñar otros uh, ejemplos un poco más fáciles que ese porque créanme que este tema es a little bit confused pero ustedes quiero que se enfoquen solamente que es conformada con verb to be plus past participle ok Ver to be plus past participle. That's it. No se metan en los demás rollos, guys, porque si no se van a confundir. Porque acá este es un tema súper extenso. Súper extenso, como no tienen una idea. Entonces, para no confundirlo, lo vamos a dejar hasta ahí la parte de la gramática y la estructura. Ahora, guys, poco a poco, con más ejemplos, ustedes van a ir entendiendo más el passive voice. ¿Ok? Yo sé que tienen muchas dudas ahorita, las cuales se van a responder mediante la práctica. All right? So, let me see. Give me a second. Y les voy a mandar una captura de esta presentación. O oh, bueno, les voy a pasar la presentación del día de ahora para que lo tengan. Para que tengan esto, miren. Lo de la um, estructura. ¿Cómo se forma? And now, let's go to the book. ¿Ok? Give me a second, because I cannot find the mouse. Okay, I have it here. Do you see the book, guys? Do you see yes. the book? Yes. Yes? Yes. Great. Okay, so we have here some statements. What we need to do, guys, is to use the passive voice of the verb in parentheses. Okay? Ahora. Yo sé que ustedes no saben cuál es el past participle de eso y no les he pasado la lista. Lo que van a hacer ustedes es que van a irse a Google y van a poner past participle of rate. Y ahí le va a aparecer cuál es el past participle. Past participle of perceived. Y ahí le va a aparecer. ¿Sí? Así lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Luego yo les voy a decir más o menos cómo poderlo obtener por ustedes mismos. Porque hay una regla para eso. ¿Ok? Pero por el momento hagámoslo de esta manera. Okay, so number one, our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. What are we going to be doing right now? You will go and place the passive voice of this verb. Okay, the passive voice is form of verb to be plus past participle. Okay, así está conformada. Entonces acá van a utilizar... Verb to be plus the past participle or rate. Let's start doing it right now in this, in this uh, meeting. Mientras ustedes lo están haciendo, guys, I will go through the attendance list, ¿ok? Voy a pasar la lista. Y, guys, busquen esos verbos en Google. Past participle of. Y sí, le va a aparecer cuál es el past participle. Porque Dígame. me está dando vuelta, vaya. Yo sé que el participio... El participio, el participio en español, son los que terminan en dos. En do. mm, Las palabras mejor. que terminan en dos, los verbos que terminan en dos, conjugado en, terminan en dos, son los participios. Mm, no, no, no Selina, lo que pasa es de que hay verbos que terminan en ed. Sí, hay unos que Ajá. terminan, pero no son ah, todos. Okay. Ajá, no okay. son todos. Uh -huh. eh, de hecho, no quisiera confundirla más, por eso no le digo. Okay. Pero por el uh -huh. momento, Selena, para que no nos confundamos, solamente búsquenlo en Google. ¿Cuál es el past okay. participle de esto? Algunos les puede parecer que terminan en ED, porque esos son regulares, ¿sí? Ah, y hay okay. unos uh -huh. que no terminan en ED, son irregulares. Sí, ok. Uh -huh. Pero Después thank you. De... Algunos sí terminan en ED, pero no todos. If you have any question, let me know, guys, please. No se queden con la duda. Yo sé que ahorita, ay, no le entendí nada lo que dijo el teacher. Pero con práctica lo vamos a entender, ¿ok? Estoy tratando de buscar lo que les digo. Miren, cabal, yo le pongo past participle of 
y le pongo la, el verbo y abajo me aparece cuál es el past participle. Me sale un cuadrito. Y ahí sale cuál es el past participle. Entonces usted solo viene y verifica. Ok, am I talking about plural or, or singular aquí? Cuando yo digo products, ¿es singular o plural, guys? Plural. Plural. So, is, is or is are? Are. 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 Perfect. Entonces sería, are products are... Y luego great buscan it. el pass. Great it. Very great it. good. As five of the most popular in the United States. ¿Ok? Y así con los demás. Solamente verifiquen si es plural o singular. Plural or singular. And that's it. ¿Ok? Don't complicate yourself. So, let okay. me go through the attendance list right now. Y ya lo vamos a resolver together. ¿Ok? Let's see. Glenda Marisela Cuellar Martínez. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Hello, girls. Fátima y Patricia, are you here? Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Meli Jessica Melisa Oye Cisneros. Present. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Milton Hernández Sola. Present. Thank you. Sure. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jacqueline Liliana Barrera Hernández. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Present. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Um, Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Cristian, you stay with me today, okay? Thank you. Okay. Celina Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Present teacher. And Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's resolve that together, okay? Number two. Um, let's see. Melissa, could you please help me to read the number two? Okay. Number two, all products are created as five of most popular in the United States. Very good. I read it, right? With D at the end. Oh, yes. give me a second. Let me do it here. I read it. Great. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Nelson. Nelson. Um, Christian, Christian, number three. Could you please help me to read number three? All customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. Very good, are perceived, very good. Number four, uh, Selena, number four. La más difícil me dejó a mí porque no, no, lo, no, no lo he encontrado. Porque Don't worry, we will help cosa. you. We will help you, okay. Selena. The brand, uh, the brand is. Mm -hmm. Guys, could same. you please help us? Same. Sin, right? Sin. Okay, same. S -I -I. Very good. ¿Cómo es? Sin. The brand is. Sin. Sin, ajá. So le agrega la N. Okay, as the lead, leader in the energy drink market. 
Very okay. good. Thank you, Selena. Nelson, okay. could you please help me with the number five? Read it. To read it. Nelson. Sabrina, number five, please. Thank you. The, number five. Huh? The company is known mm -hmm. as a major producer of shoes in the region. Very good, thank you. Okay, let's see. The last one, Maggie, number six. Esa sí no la okay. It's the same as this number two. Uh, is number six. No, R uh, R vegetable. E R rock. Rating. Uh huh. Rating. As the left. Contaminated. Contaminated of the national market. Very good, guys. Whenever you have here the ending of T, cuando termine en T or did, así miren, T or did, se va a pronunciar did or T. Ray T. Ray did. Okay. Ray D. Ajá, did. Did. Ajá. Ray did. Rated. Perdón, esa rated, la palabra me la inventé solamente para decir que cuando termina en T-E-D se dice did y cuando es con la T es did, ¿ok? Ok, guys, so thank you very much for your time. We will continue tomorrow, ¿ok? We will give you more examples and tomorrow I'll, no, today I will look for the list y se la voy a mandar, ¿ok? Para que la tengan ahí. Y cuando busquen el participle, solo se vayan a la lista y ahí lo buscan. ¿Ok? So, uh, ¿any questions so far? No. <laughs> ok. No. So, guys, don't forget about the homework. See you tomorrow and God bless you. ¿Ok? Have a good rest. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay. Take care. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I like, you. I like the color of your lipstick. Thank you, Sabrina. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Bye bye. A la orden, cuando quieras se lo envío. <laughs> bye, Sabrina. Bye, Take bye. care. Bye. bye. Take care. Christian, don't go. <laughs> Hello, Christian. Christian Hello, Josuelo Pérez Pérez, how are you? I am fine, and you? Super good. Have you practiced English lately? Hey, no. A little, a little, a little. Do you practice with Jaime? <laughs> no, because we are, we were, we was in vacation. Oh, now, you were in uh, vacation. Now this year when I returned to the school, the school is closed because of the COVID. Because of the COVID, really? We, uh, a lot of students have COVID, a lot of uh, uh, families, students' families have COVID. Or teacher will have COVID. Everyone, everyone has COVID, right? Yeah. For example, I have one with more uh, teaching of the house. Mm. So you're online. teaching online, okay? Yes. And how do you feel teaching online, Kristen? Oh, it's boring. Yes, it's boring. But what is the subject that you're teaching? Physical education. Oh my God. <laughs> that more, is difficult. More, 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 more. That more. is difficult. No, I know difficult. that is difficult because difficult. there are subjects that you can apply them, like no matter if, if they are online. And Christian, believe it or not, I understand it's difficult this new, uh, I mean, this new strategy that we have about teaching online. But believe me, Christian, that if you know the techniques, the strategies, and all, all the resources and everything, you can do it. I mean, and they learn. But you need to pay attention to every single student all the time. Like, okay, Christian, I don't see you, Christian. Turn on the camera. And Christian, hello, are you okay? And you need to be like that. Because if you are not like that, oh my God, no. Yeah, it's going to be failed. It's very 
difficult for, for, for me because I have only kindergarten, two years, three years, four years, five years. It's very difficult, but all have the, on the microphone, all speaking uh, is very difficult because teacher, 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 mister, mister, it's very difficult. Christian, but what you need to do, because I'm, uh, I'm teaching uh, kids as well, what you need to do is from the very beginning, explain to them the rules and stop the class, Christian, and stop the class and say, okay, please, everyone turn off the microphone. Everyone turn off the microphone. If they don't turn on the microphone, then talk to their parents. So they, they will be paying attention to that. It just in extreme cases, right? But stop the class and tell them, okay, we're not going to be continuing until you turn on the camera and you turn off the microphone, please. <laughs> and then you continue. Yes. And I mean, that, that, that is my advice. And you, there is, in your case, that is physical education. I don't know if you do it, but do you I, make I them can't. run? Do you make them, uh, I mean, jump in the class? Like, th doesn't matter that it's in, in, in online classes, but you do it. <laughs> you, you say, yes, you for tell example, them to I do use, it. I use uh, videos uh -huh. with, uh, with the children, for example, two and three years where I use videos. I, I share my screen. Uh, they they see the, the, they see the, the the part of the video and they and are doing then, it and then and make the exercise and then there and that's okay that that works a lot that works a lot but ask them to turn on the camera like this is a must to have the the camera on <laughs> because yes, once they me, turn off the camera me, they don't work for me or for or for teacher of kindergarten is more difficult because the children are coming to the school. They are never had on that. Yes, it's difficult, but they will be getting used to that. They use, they get used to that. For physical education, is complicated. I know, but I mean, how many days or how? I mean, how much time are you gonna be there in an online platform teaching? How how long? Excuse me. How how long are you gonna be there? Now, one month. One month. And you will continue for another it month. Is year. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are going to continue for two weeks more. Two weeks more. Ah, okay. That's gonna be soon. So but I don't. I I don't have more. I don't have more uh, ideas. <laughs> idea or strategy. That happens. I have been teaching online classes for about two years already, and I I don't want to con I don't want to go uh, to the to the class anymore. Like I want to stay here. Believe it or not, because I have already custom to that in my students as well. <laughs> they don't want to go in presence. I mean, to be face to face. They don't want to because of the COVID. And I don't want either. I love online classes because I already know how to deal with that. <laughs> well, but me, it's I difficult. Love presence, yeah. <laughs> I love presence. Yes. I love as well that, but I have been getting accustomed to the online classes that, I mean, I'm here. <laughs> and whenever a person look for me or an institute or any other, I mean, person look for me to go to the school or to go to the academy face to face, I always say no, uh, because, I have a lot of online classes and I cannot have one class face to face and the other one online. So I prefer to stay online, just online. But sometimes it's frustrating because I want to go out. <laughs> yeah. But you know, Christian, congratulate you, uh, congratulations because I can see that you are managing a lot your English skills. 
are better. I just remember the first time that I talked to you, it was not bad at all. It was not bad. Believe me, there was a person next to me that day and he told me, is that a basic English level? Yes, I said, <laughs> but he's talking in English. Yes, he's talking, but he's trying. And he said, wow, congratulations for, his, for your students. And I said, yes. And that's the, the reason why you have been improving a lot, Christian. So now I want to ask you, if there is any skill that is difficult for you so that I can help you or any topic, anything that I can help you with your English skills or with your learning process, Christian? For the moment, it's okay, but the only difficult for this topic is I don't remember the, the No, verb. it's true. I mean, passive voice, Christian, is difficult even for me. So it's, diff it's I, a I, difficult topic. I, I remember the topic. I yes. remember the rule, but I don't remember the irregular. The irregular, huh? It is because, to be honest with you, in order for us to study this topic, we should have already studied the simple past and the, how, how do you call that, uh, the structure and the rules about how to make a verb in past with the ED sound, uh, the ED uh, rules and all of this. Because I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you have, it, have been studied that the pronunciation of the ED sounds are three, the T sound, the ED sound, and the DID. So just in mind, there are a lot of bases that we should be learning already, and we haven't. But I know that this is just like a kind of introduction and it's a small topic, right? So that is why I don't want to go further. Because if I go further, oh my God you will be confused. I just want to show to you one picture that I downloaded today about this topic. So you will see how huge this topic is. It's very huge. I will show it to you right now. I'm looking that. I'm looking the, the picture right now. Where is it? Oh my God. Is Martina beginner? No, it should be in downloads. I don't remember where is it, but there is a, oh yes, I got it. Just FYI, and please don't confuse yourself, Christian, but just uh, take a look right now. This is the passive voice, and this is the verb tense that we can use with the passive voice. And the mm -hmm. only one that we are starting right now are the simple present. Look. This is the only one that we are studying right now. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot. So this is the passive voice. It's, it's complicated, but this is the only one that we are studying today. And I don't want to go further because, oh my God, it's going to be a lot of confusing. So this is what I wanted to let you know. And this is a very good chart, actually. And I found it. So. We will have more practice about this, please, and don't worry. We will have more practice about this. I mean, we are in beginner right now. This is model three. Later on, you will be in advance and you will manage this topic, okay? But okay. It still is difficult. It's difficult. So whenever you don't practice it every single day or whenever you don't see that, I mean, those rules every single day, it's difficult. So it's any other skill or any other thing that I can do for you, Christian? Any feedback, no, any for, comment, anything that I should know? No? For the moment, everything is okay. All right. Okay, Christian. So it was a pleasure to talk to you in um, real English environment today, Christian. And I'm so glad that you understood everything and the, we have a fluid uh, conversation. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for your time and thank you for being a wonderful student, okay? Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. You. Whenever you have any question, anything that you want, um, that you need from me, let me know, okay? Okay. Okay. Have an amazing night and have a good rest.
Bye, Christian. You too. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you.